please welcome to the TEDx Sonoma County stage, Royal Jelly Jive.
they love Oh, hold on tight to your love No, don't lose sight of your love Won't you all, oh, 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 hold on tight to all of your Thank you so much, everybody. So I'm just going to speak for just a moment before I sing again. And I, I just want to say a few words to give you a little bit of perspective about the songs that we're playing. I think that we can all agree that music is a universal language, and everybody understands love and, and heartache and good times and bad times. And um, it's special to be able to share that. And sometimes the subject matter of the songs is more complicated than it seems. And so the next song that we're going to play, I'm going to give you a well-rounded perspective on it. Now, it's called HMS Soul Bay, inspired by a British ship that fought in one of the very first US naval battles at Frigate's Bay between the French and British in 1782 over Sugar Plantation Islands. Now, you have to imagine yourself right now, where the Caribbean Sea meets the Atlantic, about 20 feet under the sea. Now, you have crystal blue water and sun beaming down on the sand as far as you can see. And then there's two objects on the horizon. You swim over to them, and you notice that they're late 18th century carronades. Now, those are like cannons you might be familiar with. Now, we have historical evidence that the captain of HMS Solvay asked the Queen of England for this new cutting-edge technology. These guns were smaller and, and weighed less, and they took less, fewer men and women to, to operate them. And so everybody wanted to get their hands on the carronades at the time. So though the captain was denied the carronades, they are, alas, on the shipwreck. So for historians and archaeologists, the carronade represents a puzzle piece into understanding our past. They can't just pull this up and excavate it and figure out the answers to all their questions because there is sea life living on the carronade. There's an encroachment of coral, marine life, even an eel inside of one of the carronades that's been there for years, according to one of the locals. So for the eel, the carronade is a home and a place of security and safety and protection. And it has no idea of the, of the war and destruction and the warfare associated with the object. Now, I was lucky enough to do some reconnaissance surveying with some nautical archeologists a couple years ago. And while I was holding the measuring tape and we were calculating distances between the guns, as a poet, all I could think about are all the lives, all the people, the creatures, the stories associated with the object. And so I wrote a song based on my perspective. It's a tragedy and a love story, and as you all know, it's far more complicated than that, like everything else.